So let's start from the movie. That would be your introduction. Uh, and then I'll explain you more about the, uh, the everything that we have behind Keylot. And installing clean technology solutions for disconnected communities. Keylot, an Israeli-Kenyan company, developing and assimilating off-grid technologies in developing countries with the focus on Africa. Keylot is a solution company bringing hope and prosperity to remote communities and last mile farmers. Our solutions are made in Israel. We are focused on three pillars. Water treatment. Renewable energy. Efficiency solutions. We have the latest technologies fit for purpose that can economically suit our remote clients. We utilize natural resources and renewable clean energy in order to save costs. We strive to reach anyone anywhere with the purpose of improving lives. Our solutions provided includes, home biogas systems, water collection system, semi-automatic milking pumps, water purification systems, solar water heaters for home usage, and solar microgrid including EPC projects. Our activities interlink with various Israeli innovation companies like, Home Biogas, NUF Filtration, Kiliko, and Salav. We represent these companies as exclusive distributors. Many non-profit organizations and NGOs are working towards resolving developing world's problems based on the SDG goals. The problems are many, the challenges are huge and diverse, yet there is no one holistic solution to the problems. The greater the number of initiatives, the greater the chances they will all eventually interconnect to a more conclusive solution. We combine back-end development and R&D along with our on-the-ground setup supporting our client with our technical teams and after-sales services. Keylot is able to develop new solutions for the developing market needs, as well as develop the business financing and logistics framework. We identify challenges, find innovative technological solutions sourced mainly out of Israel and implement them in the field. This complex and unique marketing strategy enables ongoing dialogue with the consumers, understanding their needs, R&D, innovation assimilation, finding local financing sources, local logistics, and marketing. Keylot was established in November 2019 following two years in which the field was closely studied and effort invested in consolidating an optimal framework. We emphasis on Kenya and intend to gradually expand our operations to Eastern Africa and later the African continent as a whole. We intend to reach every farmer in Kenya and present them with the technologies we offer through our demo centers distributed all over the country. Keylot is a young company, and despite all COVID-19 pandemic condition and restrictions, has successfully recruited investors while simultaneously implementing its strategy in the field with eight showrooms around the country. We are constantly looking to develop new clients, relationships and partnerships with similar objectives, providing off-grid solutions in order to make a better cleaner and healthier world. just for you to know. The shareholders of Kelot in Israel are actually the people who built and operate the largest solar farms of more than 700 megawatts in Israel. So somebody now comes for, for, with a factory in Kiambu and he wants to convert his <coughs> existing utilization of power to solar power. You might be confused and tell you, no, no, we do water solar heaters. But the answer is no, we don't do solar water heaters. We can also do that. We can convert farms to solar. Our immediate target people that we engage are the farmers. And therefore, we've chosen the most complicated and the most uh, difficult set of clients to start with. And from there, we can grow and provide services in many other areas. The other thing that Kelot is amazing at is that we listen. What do I mean by we listen? You come and you say, listen, this is our product, one, two, three, four, fantastic. Now the guy says, hey, do you have uh, 
are you able to do this and this? You take this request and we might be able to give him a solution for this request. The reason is, in Israel we have <coughs> uh, laboratories and research and development centers whereby if we find out that there is a real need for something, we can develop the solution for it and provide it to him and to other people. So that is the amazing advantage that we have, okay? <coughs> now, I wanna go back to the why, uh, why, and I want to focus on the, on the, on the technologies that uh, we have uh, available because that's what you're gonna do. You're going to first and foremost promote these technologies and that would be your in to potentially get also other uh, requirements, okay? I always suggest as a, from a sales, marketing, and business development perspective to try and talk about yourself. Now I know that you guys don't have a biogas in your house, definitely not ours, maybe somebody else's, but talk about your experience, and I'm sorry to say that, but if you don't make it, you fake it, okay? It's very simple. You might not have a biogas in your house, but if you talk about your experience, meaning what you would do, what you would do for your family, and you talk about yourself and your experience with the client, <clears throat> the connection will be much better. If you talk about the product as a product and there is no relation between you and the product, it's different than if you talk about your potential experience with the product or what you would like to get out of the product. So <clears throat> the, 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 the way I would describe it is if I come to you and I tell you, listen, you know what, I, the, the reason why I found the biogas so interesting is because of, of a few reasons. Personally, I, well, my, my, my family has been spending about five to six, six thousand uh, shillings a month on charcoals. So five to six thousand per month this is the cost of charcoals, okay? Could be more if you cook for more people, okay? Uh, uh, and if I used LPG, it would have reached also 10 or 15,000 shillings a month, right? So the cost is quite high. <coughs> you can save a lot of money by not using uh, charcoals. Then, I had a problem with my waste management. So basically, I took the, the cow dung or whatever, and, or the kitchen waste, and then I just, I didn't know what to do with it. I just threw it in the garbage, or threw it on the road, threw it on the ground, or whatever. Then I found out that my family has been sitting in a room of three square meters inhaling smoke while cooking every day. So smoke inhalation. <clears throat> I don't know, can you guess how many people die every year from inhaling smoke? I'll tell you because I know that you might not have the number. Four and a half million people die every year from inhaling smoke. <coughs> now, I'm coughing because I inhaled smoke yesterday, by the way. I'm not, I'm not joking. I inhaled smoke in my house. I put fire to heat the house because it was freezing and the whole smoke came to And until now, I'm, I'm, I'm actually coughing. Now, this is not just coughing. Not me, but generally, it can create serious sicknesses, okay? And reach death. Now, that's not me saying that. That's in, uh, studies and 
uh, World Health Organization studies are saying that. So four and a half million people dying every year from smoke inhalation is not something that is 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 Kalot's, uh, observation. Okay, it's 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 what the so basically <clears throat> what I'm what I'm saying is that oh by the way then I also find out that I'm spending another two to three thousand shillings a month on fertilizer because what to do I mean I have a garden or uh, uh, some agriculture plot and I need to to, to use this uh, fertilizer so basically I took these problems and I found solutions to them by installing the home biogas. Now, why would I want the home biogas is because, number one, I save money on charcoal and on fertilizer. I can win six to eight thousand shillings at least a month with these two. Two, I save the health of my family. I improve the health of my family, right? Three, I improve the productivity of my crops, of my agriculture, right? Now, because I'm getting fertilizer from the, the biogas, I'm also getting a better fertilizer than what I buy. And I'll explain you why. So, efficiency of fertilizer. When I take fertilizer from the, from uh, when, when people try to use the cow dung as their fertilizer, they usually put it in the sun to dry so they can put it in the, in, in the, Problem is, you lose about 50% of the of the ingredients of the microorganisms of the fertilizer if you dry it, and if rain comes to it and things like that, it's even worse. So you lose 50% of the efficiency of the fertilizer by drying it. This liquid fertilizer has all the necessary ingredients and there are studies to show that it's much better than all the fertilizers that you have had before. Okay? So, efficiency of fertilizer, I'm putting here 50%. Okay? <clears throat> so, I save money, right? I save health or I improve health, right? I improve productivity, I have a better fertilizer. I'm getting five to six hours a day of cooking. <clears throat> I am actually in a risk-free environment, which is clean cooking. And also, I don't know if you know, but there is a big difference between the gas coming out of the biogas than the gas coming out of the LPG. The gas coming out of the LPG is smelly and can also be very flammable, which is very dangerous. The biogas gas is not smelly and is not dangerous. You, can, you don't have the biogas exploding. That's, that's not the, <coughs> the, the same, uh, it's much better. Okay, so it's risk-free. These are the personal reasons why I would, why I am using biogas. But there is also global reasons which are kind of important. First of all, if I stop buying charcoals, I'm really helping the deforestation, deforestation of, uh, of 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 uh, of of, the, of this problem, which, as you all know, I guess that the, the forest is. Forests are like the lungs of the world, right? We are also helping by not cooking and not burning 
the uh, amount of CO2 emissions in this world because this is the reason why we have more disasters and global warming and other things. By the way, 2% of the global pollution is because of the world's uh, uh, charcoal cooking. 2% is a lot. It's a lot. You can't... So, globally, there is also a very important uh, 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 contribution. I can understand that the normal farmer will not think about the global warming before he takes care of his farm. That's fine. But it's not bad to also be part of the solution and not the pollution. Right? So that's also very important. All this and more is why biogas is important. Buy it from us, buy it from somebody else. It's important. Okay? Now, we're going to show you. This is one of the better movies because when somebody sees that, he can, he can, it's not from you. He knows that you have at the end of the day intentions to convey some message to him. But he sees this. You know, it's it's calm, and the guy explains, and it's very clear that he hasn't been paid to do the this promotion. So it's very very good to use. I would suggest as much as possible use movies to convey the message. It works. Okay. In order for you to do this, we will provide you with the necessary movies. In the beginning, you might I don't know if you have laptops, so you can use your phone, or you can use your send you tablets in the later stage but that's very important for you to be able to use that okay so for uh, uh, for um, I think we've covered quite well why people want a need to use biogas you agree questions now let's talk about the why and the how okay which is more of explaining you technically what what is required now okay let's assume now that the person says look um, you know what I, I really like it I think I'm going to maybe before we go to the how yes I really want you to understand about the evaporator vata, part yes so you see the exact list that comes out from the bio right? yes so I, I wanted to understand that part. so technically what happens is the same amount of waste that you put on the feeding side, you get the liquid fertilizer on the other side. So if you put 80 liters, you get 80 liters. 120 liters, you get 120 liters. Okay? That's a byproduct. But this product has been tested and it's the best fertilizer you can get. Now all biogas create a byproduct of fertilizer. Okay? But but this one, the way we're doing it, the way the 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 thing is configured, you understand that it's, first of all, it's very easy and very important, and it's a byproduct. The other thing that I have to touch base on, and I, 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 the reason I'm not touching base on this is because it's, it could be maybe 15% of the people you talk to that are actually uh, entrepreneurs and they're uh, business oriented. There's no reason why you don't take this biogas fertilizer package it and sell it, right? I haven't really promoted this, just like I'm not going to promote people who are buying the NOOF now to start selling water. The reason is, not everybody is in this business, and we don't, you know, if you want to, you can sell it, okay? But that's not the main reason why I came to that, okay? So, this is 285, 285 shillings per day. You agree? That's, I'm talking about the worst case scenario now. That means that unless you've reached 31,200, which is 30% of 104,000, 
I'm not going to install for you. Right? Because we said that 30% is the point where we install. Right? So even if you have very little money, I'm able to offer you this. But as I mentioned before, I have to secure the whole transaction somehow. How do I secure it? One, I need to have somebody who, I'm not going to run after you to give me 200 shillings every day. It's clear. I need some system to pay me. So M-Pesa, bank, whatever. Okay? And I will also sign you on a contract that you are committed to this. And we have this contract and she will share with you this contract. Okay? So how you pay up to the 30% even daily is okay, but through M-Pesa or through some bank transfers in order to secure this payment. What I would suggest to try and do is this. Okay? I know that it's a bit confusing, but we've even reached a point where a farmer said, okay, I'm ha I want to do it. The most important thing is getting a commitment fee. 2,000 shillings to 5,000 shillings. This is what Sistema does, by the way. 2,000 shillings to 5,000 shillings, anything in between, to show your commitment. Why would you pay me so I can book the stock for you. Now, after you've paid this commitment, we can do any installments and any, you know, any, any um, uh, solution for you. Now, I feel that you are not 100% with me on that. So I'm going to try and repeat it in a more organized way. Okay? This is clear. This is clear, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is clear. In order for us Start saying there's people going around taking 2,000 shillings. And no, but I was thinking like the 2,000, eh? I think it is advisable for a baby instead yeah. of cash. No, no, for sure. We don't touch cash unless we have to. But again, when you do that, you have to give them a receipt or something from Kayla to show that they've paid. And it's a commitment. So we have a, pa a paper that everybody signs, that they have given 2,000 shillings, and they intend to pay the rest. So it's covered properly on our side. And this has to be given to them, please. Okay. Okay? Okay. I want to touch base on one more thing before we wrap this part up. Then the next phase, which I'll talk to you about, a bit later after you finish with the guy with the biogas and you digest a bit, we'll go to the next whys and hows of the other technologies, though again, we will focus on the biogas. We've, we've finished with this? Yeah? yeah? Good. Now, let's talk about how do you actually get plants, okay? So, you have, and that's the preparations. So what we have today to offer you is movies, website, flyers, 
brochures, everything is online and, uh, and, and uh, art copies. Showrooms. App, which I will introduce to you, if you have phones or an app that can be used with all this information. Okay? All of this. This is what we can give, okay? But there is a lot of homework that you need to be able to do in your area. Because we, the scale up, we focus on fathers, okay? Right. But, and that's a big but, we don't focus only on fathers. So let's first of all talk about farmers. Where do we find farmers? And where do we find others, other options here? So farmers, we find in farms. <laughs> you agree with that concept? Yes. Fantastic. We find them in farms, but getting to farms is not always easy. It's also hectic. Getting to these farms. So you need to get to farms, but we need to find a more constructive way to get to these people. So, in order to get to these people, otherwise, there are organizations of farmers, there are cooperatives, there are SACOs, there are uh, uh, banks. And more and more and more. You need to be able to assess in your respective areas the organizations, the circles, the cooperatives that are in your area in order to get access to them because they have a very good link to larger number of farms. What do we do when we reach these guys? So individual farmers, you can talk to directly with the tools that I've given you. But larger organizations at the beginning, you will have to involve myself or other people in the office that are dedicated to do that until you catch up and you can talk to bigger organizations. Okay? Because I don't want you to talk to a circle of 10,000 farmers and screw up. I, I'm allowed to ask for that, right? So I would like you to please get in touch with these people, get the meeting, and then let us help you handle it. It's going to be yours, but well, let us help you handle it. Our main concern with all these organizations is to reach a point where we invite them for a function. What do I mean by a function? I mean, it's not a wedding. But it's getting them in front of us as a group whereby we can help them with training, with explaining them why, how, what, show them movies, all of that. 15, 20, 50 people, doesn't matter. We bring soft drinks, we bring cookies, cakes, snacks. We give them, we put them in a tent, we show them the biogas, we show them many things that they can uh, enjoy and understand. This is what we want to achieve. The, the functions can be either here in the office or in their respective areas or in the uh, showrooms that we have around the showroom so they can see the rest of the products. They have to tell us and they have to tell us the date and they have to tell us the location they are comfortable with and we do it together with them with their circle flags logos, it's a partnership 
Okay? This is what we want to achieve. Okay? They have to be the one calling the people. I don't mind financing also the SMSs for them to call the people or their phone calls. But they are supposed to be heading the invitation part. So, for example, take a dairy cooperative in Akuro. I don't know. Give me a name. I can't remember their names now. You go, we go to them, they understand their potential, they understand that their farmers can improve their lives, they can understand that their farmers can save money, they understand that their farmers can get training from us, they can understand the potential of the partnership, great. Okay guys, let's set up a date. Even two days in a row, you bring a, a, on the 22nd and 23rd, in Nakuru, in this and this place, we bring a tent, we bring snacks, we bring food. From 9 to 11, you bring 20 people. These are the names. Ta -ta 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 -ta. From 11 to 1, because they always, always tell you no because of COVID restrictions. We know there are COVID restrictions. That's why we're giving 2 hours and 20 people. It's fine. Okay? Then 2 to 4, and then 4 to 6. Every time. 20 people, 20 people, 20 people, and the next day the same thing. And all we do is, you can also ask the people in the office. So you're not like you get out of here, if you've missed something, oh my God, I don't know how to, no, okay? It's not like that. You can always get more information, okay? Somebody is interested in a biogas. They are frequently asked questions. About, hang on, so, oh, I don't have cows, so I can't have a biogas. No, that's not true. Oh, uh, my house is only uh, XYZ meters, so I can't. Oh, uh, my kitchen is very small, so I can't. No. So I'll explain you now a few, uh, I'll give you now a few points that you should be able to quickly explain. First of all, Cow dung require, is required in the installation of the biogas only. It's not required throughout. Yes, it's better if you have, if you feed the biogas with cow dung throughout because this is the best material to create the gas. It has the best microorganisms and all of that. But if you don't have that, you will only need that for the installation and commissioning part. Okay? Otherwise, you can use any other organic waste. So people who don't have 15 cows and say, oh, I can't have the biogas. No, you can have the biogas, even if you use kitchen waste. You will have to get the cow dung for the installation part. How much cow dung? Four drops. Okay? On top of that, sand, about two wheelbarrows, and 4,000 liters of water. Sand, two wheelbarrows, and 4,000 liters of water for the installation. The biogas needs to be on a, a, on a straight and compacted surface. And the biogas of seven cubic meters, which provides you with five to six hours a day of cooking, needs to have around five meters long and two meters wide area. The installation will take two hours, installation. But accumulating the gas will take about two to three weeks, depending on the weather and on the heat. Should be under, without any roof, under the clear skies, okay? And should be maximum 15 to 20 meters from the kitchen, okay? We do the installation, we do the piping, we bring the stove or the burners, and with each and every biogas, we bring a, a, a unit of two burners, which this is one, two. You have it here outside, you can see it. Okay, it's part of the package. Okay, if you want to have commercial burners and so on and so forth because you have more people and blah 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 we can discuss it it's, a, it's a, a, an extra cost 
Okay? We install for free anywhere around Nairobi. Nairobi, even up to Kiambu. Nakuru uh, might be another three, four thousand shillings on logistics, but we will look into the option of uh, removing that maybe at the beginning just for you to be able to sell and not to, to be uh, exposed to other questions. We have the units in stock. So as opposed to other companies like Sistema and all these guys, we are not going to tell you that in half a, half a year we'll come and install. We'll install next week, okay? Which is a huge advantage, okay? People don't have, don't want to wait. And we will always have stocks. So that is a huge advantage. We are also here to stay. You are here sitting in the offices. You are here sitting in Nairobi but you also have other centers, you have here a headquarter that any problem that you have after, even if you are here or not here, people will be here to answer to your call and help you if there is any problem. Sometimes people have a problem, biogas is not working, the training wasn't done properly, it takes longer, there is a problem, there's a technical problem, many things can happen, we are here to help, support and solve, okay? So we are not a Chinese company in stores and then you find me on the phone in China, maybe I answer. No, we are here, okay? That's a huge advantage. Let's talk about what we usually do in regards to payment terms and these payment terms are relevant not only for your biogas, it's relevant also to other uh, technologies that we have. Usually we install when a guy is paying 30% Okay? Now, listen carefully please A person that there are three important factors in payments One, we install when we reach 30% Two, we install when we have the rest of the payment secured by a third party are we clear? Am I making sense? What is a third party? A third party is a standing order by the bank. A third party is post dated checks that can secure the rest of the payment. A third party is pay bill or PESA. Okay? A third party is a, 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 a bank that gives loans to the, to, the, to, the, to the farmers. So, pay bill, banks, PD checks, standing order, cooperatives, or SACOs that are actually able to give the financing to the farmer. Sometimes the farmer will have to recruit his 30% and then somebody else will give him the, 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 the finance. Sometimes the, 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 it changes every time. There are two things you need to understand. Here, until we get the 30%, if somebody cannot pay up front 30%, we are able to give him ourselves installments. He can pay 2,000 this month, then 10,000 next month, then another 20,000 the next month. This is something you need to get approval for, but we are open to this as long as we get the guy to commit. All together? Then we, when we have to, when we install, we have to get them secured. We as Scalot also provide financing solutions. We will finance even 100%, but against some guarantees. So if somebody wants financing, we usually take 1% interest per month. So if we want, let's say, 12 months, okay? So instead of the price, which is 92,800 Kenya shillings, inclusive of VAT, 
multiply this by 1.12 equals whatever. 800 times 1.12. This is 104,000. Okay? This is including of interest of one year. So what I would suggest as a priority, you take this, divide it by 12, you get 30% of it is 26,000 is the advance or the 30% and balance can be paid through M-Pesa, pay bill or whatever, daily, weekly, monthly, checks, whatever. All these are options. We even have a PDQ machine if somebody wants to swipe. No issues. Everything is possible in order to help our farmers get to their product. Okay? Questions about this? Yes. Uh, you know, let's say I get a client and then uh, he pays 26000 Are we going to install it? Yes, because I said we install it 30%. But we have to have the rest of the payment secured. Secure. Somehow. Okay. Now, naturally, there is no 100% unless the bank pays you 100%. Okay. Because even if you have a standing order with the bank, there is a risk that they can come and stop the standing order. But at least we have something that secures us for future. The best thing for us, and I will talk about organizations in few, is to get a, co a, a cooperative, a dairy cooperative, that says to the farmer, no problem, we'll pay 100% to Kalot, they install and you pay us through milk or through money. That's the best, but it doesn't always work. The best is for the farmer to go to equity bank and get a loan of 92,800, pay us the 92,800, and then pay the bank every month like alone but that doesn't always work so we need to be very flexible with the payment solutions and this is where i come in i can help you with that you can call me i'll give you all the solutions what is possible what is not possible it's difficult to tell you now how everything works because it's so different between where i'm banking with who i'm banking with uh, which cooperative or SACO I'm part of? How much can I put? Can I put now 2,000? And then in a week I'll put another 20,000? Can I give you now 5,000 and then in three months I'll give you the rest? Yes. All this is okay up to the 30% because then we are not exposed, we haven't installed. Problem comes from the 30% onwards where we need to be secured. Because when we gave the product, and then we gave the product, then up to the 30%, he can pay a shilling a day. It's his problem. I'm not giving him anything. It's a, it's a pain because I need to monitor and all that, but okay. Problem here is that from the 30% onwards, is when you already installed the biogas and now there is a problem with the payment, then we have to because you can't come and take the biogas from you. A, it's not comfortable to take it. It's like almost, a, you know, it's like half a ton or more. Then dismantling it and all of that. And now in Kenya, there are rules. You can't just come and take somebody's property. Uh, you can't, it's a, it's a problem. So we need to be very clear on this. Having said that, I'm not expecting you to now know everything and solve everything. So with time, you'll understand more and I will help you. Now let's talk about what happens when you've done an, an, an amazing job and you have convinced the guys that this is why, why, why they need the, the unit. And you have also discussed the, the uh, requirements for the installation. You've also discussed the payment terms and everything. And the guy said, you know what, okay, let me think about it. Which happens a lot. 
let me think about it because I need to speak to my wife. I need to speak to the, okay. First of all, that means that it happens a lot. The guys need to think about it. The, from experience, we can say that it's very, very, very important to be able to close the deal when you engage the farmers at the first time. Because you build up the interest and excitement to the point where he has 95% excitement. And at this point, you need to close the deal. This is how it is. What happens afterwards, he goes home, his wife is sick, his dog is sick, the cow is sick, the children are shouting. The smoke is killing him <laughs> because there's a lot of smoke in the house. So his interest basically goes from 95% to about 5%. Then try to call him and explain, oh, you remember we met a week ago and I talked to you about this bagas and then, yeah, it's 92,000. Dude, this, I don't have time for this now. Maybe next time. You lose the guy. And that's what happens most of the time. Now, I don't, I'm not saying you can control this. The guy is not ready. But there are two things that will happen if you do not do this. First of all, there is what we call the follow-up. You have to be aggressive on the follow-up. You have to be aggressive on the follow-up. Three days after, one week after, until the guy might tell you, listen, call me in a month, fine, you call me in a month, but until then, try to meet him again. And secondly, we have something that we consider a voucher. Now, a voucher, which I will show you in a minute, is something we give the guy, tell him, listen, okay, you can't make a decision now, take this, here is my details, here is everything. If you come back within seven days, about three seven days, not seven months, you will get this discount for me, which is three thousand shillings. So the guy goes home with this information, thinking, okay, I can still come back to this guy. I will give him the voucher only when I understood that this is not happening. We are not here to give vouchers. I've seen people here talking about the burgers and talking about this and, that, and then people are like, any questions? No, okay, come and take vouchers. No! We are here to sell. But if you do not sell, give a voucher. Pretty clear. This is 285, 285 shillings per day. You agree? That's, I'm talking about the worst case scenario now. That means that unless you've reached 31,200, which is 30% of 104,000, I'm not going to install for you. Right? Because we said that 30% is the point where we install, right? So even if you have very little money, I'm able to offer you this. But as I mentioned before, I have to secure the whole transaction somehow. How do I secure it? One, I need to have somebody who, I'm not going to run after you to give me 200 shillings every day. It's clear. I need some system to pay me. So, M-Pesa, bank, whatever. Okay? And I will also sign you on a contract that you are committed to this. And we have this contract, and she will share with you this contract. Okay? So, how you pay up to the 30%, even daily is okay, but through M-Pesa or through some bank transfers in order to secure this payment. What I would suggest to try and do is this. Okay? 
I know that it's a bit confusing, but we've even reached a point where a farmer said, okay, I'm ha I want to do it. The most important thing is getting a commitment fee. 2,000 shillings to 5,000 shillings. This is what Sistema does, by the way. 2,000 shillings to 5,000 shillings, anything in between, to show your commitment. Why would you pay me? So I can book the stock for you. Now, after you've paid this commitment, we can do any installments and any you know, any, any um, uh, solution for it. Now, I feel that you are not 100% with me on that. So I'm going to try and repeat it in a more organized way. Okay? This is clear. This is clear, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is clear. In the options, I'm going to tell you now what you do. Okay? If you cannot do this, 2,000 shillings commitment fee. Two. 30% plan. Three. Balance program. I come to you. You are interested? Good. Can you pay any of this? Yes? No. Give me 2,000 shillings commitment fee, I'll give you a receipt. We save that unit for you. You're giving me, what is your plan for the 30%? What is the 30%? 20, huh? 26,000? No, it's like 30% minus the 2,000. The balance for the 30%? How can you pay me? I'll give you uh, another 10,000 next week and I'll give you another 5,000 and another 5,000 in the next three weeks after. Good. You put it in the contract. How do you plan to pay the balance? I'm going to get your standing order from the bank. Okay. I need Caleb to finance me. Okay. I can get uh, post data checks for you every month. Okay, this is what we do, okay? The 30% plan could be maximum, a plan for maximum two months. Why? Because I cannot wait now because of these 2,000 shillings for a year. I have stocks that I need to manage. Imagine now 500 people giving me 2,000 shillings, I need to sit on the stock and wait for them. No, he needs to finish his 30% payment in two months. You understand? No. So, for the sake of argument, 104, uh, sorry, 92,800. This is the price of the biogas, including VAT, right? Minus. 2000. Leaves us with 9800. This 9800, the, the gentleman now needs to pay 30%, right? In the next two months. This is 27, he needs to pay another 27, this is immediate. In two months, he needs to pay 27, 200, he needs to pay 27, 240. This is the balance in two months. I would suggest maximum two installments. Okay, maximum two installments, which he needs to confirm to you now. A good thing that after the 2000, he will run after you, not you after him. That's why I want the 2000. Okay? Now let's talk about the balance. 90, 92,800 minus 2000 minus 27, 240. 
the balance of the 63, 560. That is basically what we need to understand from him. This is the program I was talking about. How does he want to pay that? The options here are PD checks, standing order, or k -Lot finance. k -Lot finance will add a percent per month depending on the number of months that he wants us to finance him. We can finance him up to 12 months and there will be a 1% interest. Is this clear or not? Yes. Yes? Yeah. That, except for the numbers, because this is coming to, of course the 63 is before the interest, so don't get confused. If we need to add interest of 12 months to this, we need to add 12 months to this interest. Okay? So don't, this is not with interest. This is coming to 92,800 here. Now, if we do it with the NUF, it's going to come to 200,000 and the ratios are going to be the same. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'll do for you... Let me just understand the, <coughs> the, key, the key of finance. Yeah? Yes. So this will be, uh, okay, the balance is 63,560. Yes. And uh, maybe the key of finance. Yes. So what, what, would be, what, what would be the guarantee of that? What will guarantee Kailos to pay to pay to pay to finance the customer? Okay, so basically a contract that the, the client will sign. It's a very strong contract. Okay? Now, it's not that we don't think there will be defaults, but the, what we have now is a contract. And the the, the unit itself. Because that's that's the, the collateral. Getting additional collateral, what am I going to ask him to to, to give him his land? What, what am I going to do? We are trying to get a, an external financing company to do that. We are doing it only in cases whereby we really don't have much choice. Okay? It's not a preferred option. But I think you can really work with that. Okay? Uh, and this is where the installation will take place, here. Okay? Are we clear? Mm -hmm. More clearer? Good. I think it's very important that you take uh, uh, maybe you... Okay? Good. Now, let's talk about the other part, which is not this. The other part is in your area of concern, factories, churches, mosques, eh, eh, schools, universities, and so on, county, government, whatever. All these guys can save a fortune by putting a biogas. Or a roof. Or improve the lives of the students by giving them hot water. You know how much a boarding school is paying on food? You'll be shocked. Hundreds of thousands of shillings a month. Instead of using the waste they create anyway to cook with. Why? For what? This is the homework that you need to be doing in your respective areas, and that should be done actually from today. Dairy cooperatives, tea cooperatives, pig farms, anything works because everybody needs what we have to offer. Okay? I'm stopping here. Go and think. Uh, uh, we'll continue later after you finish with the biogas.